Hello, on this tutorial you will learn how to send email notifications and comments reply using the free notification plugin. You can use this approach to send an email to anyone who needs to know about a new reply in existing comments. The first step will be to install the plugin. If you already have the plugin installed, you can skip to the next step. You can download the plugin directly from your WordPress dashboard. To do this, you need to go to Plugins, Add New, and go ahead and look for Notification. After a few seconds, you will see the plugin Notification, Custom Notifications and Alert for WordPress. Just go ahead and click on Install Now. And after a few seconds, you will see the button Activate. Just go ahead and click on it. If everything went well, on your left side of your WordPress dashboard, you will see a new section called Notification. So let's add a new notification. Go ahead and click on Notification. If it's the first time that you use the plugin, you will see the Notification Wizard. For this tutorial, let's just go ahead and skip the wizard. In order to add a new notification, you need to click on Add New Notification on the left side of the screen or on the top. On the new screen at the top you can name your new notification. It's recommended to name it to something that you will remember. You can name it however you like, don't worry, this will not appear anywhere else. The next field you need to fill is in the trigger. This is basically most of the things you can do in WordPress. For example, do you want to receive an email when a user signs up or do you want to be informed when one of your editors publishes a new post or when someone buys a new product? Don't worry, we got you covered. And we have added most of the things you might need. For this tutorial, we will select the trigger comment replied. So just go ahead and let's look for it. Comment replied, just click on it. And this essentially means that each time someone else replies to an existing comment on our WordPress site, we want to send an email notification to the person who posted the first comment. For example, in one of my posts, I have a comment by a user called Peter. Then a new user called Kevin goes to my post and sees Peter's comment. Kevin wants to reply to Peter's comment, so when Kevin does, I want to make sure that Peter receives an email notification that someone replied to this comment. So let's go ahead and set up that. Really important, you can only select one trigger per notification. In case you want to select an additional trigger, you will need to add a new notification. The next step will be to select the carrier. This tutorial covers only email carriers. So in case you are in interested in something different, you will need to follow a different tutorial. So a carrier is basically where you want to receive your notification. For this example, we will use email carrier. So go ahead and click on that. The first thing that you will need to fill is the subject, then the body and the recipient. Subject, this is the name of the email. In case this email is for your users or customers, remember to give a relevant name because it is the first impression and it is the reason the recipient will or will not open it. To speed up this tutorial, I already have uh, filled the subject and the body, so I will fill it really fast in this tutorial. The next part you need to fill is the body, and this basically works as a traditional text editor. You can personalize it as you want, you can add links, modify the, the text, the size, and so on. If you want, in our uh, written tutorial, you can copy paste this template. Depending on the trigger you selected in the steps before, in the right sidebar of the window, you will see some options called Merge Tags. Merge Tags are basically a tiny bit of dynamic information that is taken automatically by WordPress. For this comment reply notification email, I will use the following tags, post title, parent comment author user display name, uh, parent comment content, uh, comment content and post permalink. But you have many possibilities here, so um, 
if you open each of these options, you will see tons of different merge tags. You can use any of them. It's the last step in setting the email notification, it's to include the recipients of this email. And so here you will see two columns. The first one is type and the second one is recipient. For type, you have the options email, merge tag, you have administrator, user, user ID, and role. For this tutorial, we will use email merge tag. And for this particular example, we will use the merge tag called parent comment author user email. To do this, we need to click on parent comment author on the right side of the screen and you will see parent comment author user email. So just go ahead and click on it and just paste it. By using this merge tag, this will be replaced by the uh, author email uh, for our example. When Peter wrote his comment, he provided an email address. So when a new user, in this example, Kevin, replies to Peter's comment, Peter will receive an email on the email address that he specified when submitting the first comment. When you have filled the recipient, just go ahead and click Save. An additional final step that is recommended is to test your comment reply notification. To do this, we'll go to an existing post in our WordPress site. So for this particular example, we will go to a post called my first post. Here is the content and here is the comment section. In this case, we can see the example that we saw before, which is Peter's comment. What I want to achieve is that Peter will receive an email after a new user, in this case, Kevin, replies to this comment. OK, so let's go ahead and type a reply. Uh, in this example, let's assume now that we are Kevin. Oh, let's type something. For this example, Kevin will reply to Peter's comment. So he has filled uh, the comment, uh, he provided his name, and he provided his email address. So let's go ahead and click on post comment. Now, what we want to do is check Peter's email address inbox to see how the notification email looks like. So if we go now to Peter's inbox email address, we will see that we have a new email called someone replied to your comment in the post, my first post. And here is the content that we created. Hello, Peter. Someone replied to your comment in the post, my first post. The reply to your comment is your comment. I read your article and happy to say it's great. That's it, right? And he we also included a, a link to the existing post so Peter can reply to this comment. The notification will only be sent after the new comment has been approved by the website admin. Otherwise, this notification will not be triggered. And that's it. That's all you need to set up a new comment reply notification.